In this video, we're going to discuss how you can use the new sample SOAP service that ships with uh, Alpha Anywhere for testing uh, how you can consume SOAP services from your XBasic code. So in order to uh, demonstrate this, we're going to go to the web control panel, select the web services category, and then click on the new button. We're going to now select this first option here to create a new definition to consume a SOAP web service. So we'll go there. And you can see now that basically there's a link now to the documentation that explains the uh, service. So this is a sample service that you can host locally. And you'll uh, see here that uh, the documentation describes how you can also get access to the source code that was uh, used to create the sample service. So we'll go back now and we'll choose um, uh, the sample service locally hosted. And you can see now a little window opens up telling us now that Windows Explorer is now going to open up and show us where the service was installed. So you can see now here's our service. And we need to, as, uh, as the documentation, as the window explained, right click on the service itself and say run as administrator. So now the service is running and the service will be running until such time as we actually close this window. So now, for example, just... Uh, if you right click on this and you say run as administrator and you get this error uh, that says that you can't run it because it's in a faulted state, that's because you have previously uh, run this uh, service and not closed the window down. So now if we go back to close the window down and we start again, you'll see that this time it works correctly. So now the service is running um, and it's running on port 8777 and we can go back to Alpha and continue here. So let's go give the service a name, so that's fine. And then click OK. And we can see now that basically a new web reference is created over here. And if we double click on this, we can see that this service has three methods, get customer, list customers, and list products. And for each uh, method, you can see that the uh, genie here, the explorer, shows the arguments ne needed for the request and also shows the um, uh, the description of the response. So we can go here and we can say test method. And here is the XBasic code that is generated in order to make a call to the service. And we can just go here and say execute. And you can see that basically we would get our results. So here we have an error because we haven't specified the um, name of the um, customer that we would like to uh, to get. So let's go here and choose say list customers, execute this, and now go ahead and execute. And you can see now here we have our customers. So we've been able to basically create the, um, ref the web reference and then show here the sample code that would be needed from XBasic to make a call into that uh, service. Thanks very much for watching.